YouTube, what is up? Hope you guys are doing great. Been uh, coming off of a pretty good week, minus a hurricane that just barely missed Florida, which is pretty cool. Got some bad weather, but nothing nothing broke, no roof damage, so I'm pretty happy. <laughs> uh, but yeah, just wanted to check in with you guys. Um, been doing a lot of coaching calls lately with uh, you know some Ebony players that reached out. Uh, definitely love the, the audience and the support you guys are giving. Uh, all kinds of walks of life, different countries, you know, different, you know, professions, uh, really educated, you know, a bunch of people that we have in this community. So really, uh, really happy to be a part of it. Um, I wanted to just touch on a couple of things that I'll be putting out uh, within the upcoming weeks. Uh, I've been getting a lot of questions about, you know, how do you make material? Like, how do you make armor so fast? Like, it's such a grind. Um, I'm going to be preparing some content for that based around like Viking event you know, how to coin, uh, it seems to be a pretty popular topic. So, um, I'm going to definitely dive into that to give you guys some more insight on the, the best way to do it. In case you guys haven't noticed on this channel, I'm not really big on like, how do you build and resources and you know, how do you cultivate? Like uh, I mentioned it before, there's a lot of other really good YouTube channels for that. Um, more, sh more so about combat and strategy and, you know, just, you know, mechanics of the game. So if you're looking to build fast, I'm really not your guy. But um, I there is something I do want to talk about in regards to uh, building gear. And also, you know, if you are a coiner, and if you're not a coiner, you know, a lot of us that play this game, you know, there's a pretty big obligation to it. If you're not spending money, then, you know, you're spending your time or maybe you're doing both. <laughs> Everybody has different objectives. And, you know, one thing I noticed is being a part of my server is that you want to have, you know, team play. You want to you not only want to be strong, but you want to be surrounded by strong players on top of that. It's no fun being a, a one man show. And I think Shalon's kind of really been putting a, an emphasis on that when it comes to like glory castles and really just rewarding more of a, a team environment, right? And that's something I'll be talking about, you know, as we go along as well, as my team, you know, grows and gets stronger and as I kind of dive into that that sector of it. Um, but it, information, you know, we got a lot of subscribers here. Um, make sure you're telling your, your, your server mates and people that you know, because the best players, the ones that are the most fun to play with are the ones that take information very seriously. Um, I mean, you could be the smartest guy in the room, but if you're the only smart guy, well, you're not going to have a solid team and you're not going to really be able to get the full benefit of this game. Um, you know, I see it in, in different groups that I'm in and like all star groups and, you know, older continents where, you know, they have like a really strong team. And when you have a strong team, you don't have to, you know, carry the burden as much. If any top players are, are you know, following this, then you probably are aware of this. SVS is your you know, you're spending a lot of resources, speed ups, you know, sources of life, like you're, you know, you're, you're, you're carrying the weight. And for those that aren't there yet, like, you know, you want to lean in and give support to those players to where you have a healthy server. Um, and you win more, right? Uh, I mean, I don't think anybody really has fun losing <laughs> unless you're learning because of course the, you know, the best things that you learn are, you know, they come from losses, not from always doing well all the time, but um you know, make sure that you're pushing that really hard in your alliance, that information is what really starts off somebody being a good player. It's not the coining, it's not the, the rallies, it's not the, it's, you know, it's learning the right strategies and then also implementing them and getting the experience behind it. You know, we can talk about theory all day long, but if you're not actually doing it, and I have noticed that a lot on newer servers, you know, a lot of players that, you know, are really powerful and strong but they're they're timid um i mean i know players that didn't qualify in all stars that were you know three four billion you know regardless of the continent that they're on you know based on play style so as much as building is important and gear and buffs and debuffs also the right mentality the right approach the right implementation you know there's so many things that go into being like really good at this game um, and if you're following this then I'm, I'm sure that's something that you're you know aspiring to be uh, even me personally, I don't know everything. It's impossible to know everything in this game. Um, but I'm eager to learn and I keep my, my eyes and ears open. And, you know, I make sure that I'm just soaking everything in to where, you know, any situation that I find myself in, I feel, I feel confident. And that's what really what makes the game the most fun is that when you feel really comfortable and confident in what you're doing. Um, in this game, as you start off on new servers or the server that you're on now, you know, usually the, you know, the veteran from the previous server that started a new, um, you know, usually they know it all or, you know, 
you know, just be careful about who you're getting advice from. You know, this is something that I apply in principle really to any key area of my life that if somebody doesn't have what I want, then I'm probably not going to follow their advice. You know, you want to follow the path or the footsteps of someone that has gone and accomplished what you want to actually succeed in. Right. So um, not to knock like any other YouTubers or anybody in that your alliance, but yeah, you know, just keep in mind that if you're spending hours upon hours a week in this game and you're spending money and coining that you want to make sure that you're doing it the right way. Because I can tell you from experience, someone that was newer to the game about a year ago, I mean, I was just, you know, I pretty much listened to anybody that talked because they knew more than I did, right? Um, but that doesn't necessarily make them an expert at the game. It just, you know, it just puts you on a path to, to, to you know, cut down that learning curve, if you will. Um, so be careful who you get advice from. You know, a lot of know-it-alls in the game, a lot of people that know exactly what you need to do, but everybody has different goals and different strategies and you know, different things that they prioritize. Like I see it in chats all the time of like, oh, siege bombs, you know, like siege bombs, like, oh my, oh, they're the best ever. But, you know, they're like a 50 mil player that's talking about building a siege gen when they really have no business doing it because of the way that, you know, siege rallies are actually used in the game. Um, or, you know, boss rallies or, you know, really anything that we can pick apart in this game. You know, w- one set of advice, you know, there's some, some you know, mainstream guidelines, but, you know, where you're at specifically, not everybody's advice is going to be like the best thing that you need to do at that time. Because, you know, and I try to be very conscious of this, right? You see, I'm a 1.7 bill player. You know, you're not going to see a lot of content for me on, you know, being level 30 and using T9s and T10s and ghosting troops. And you're not going to see that content for me because it's not my, you know, my area of expertise, if you will, or I didn't spend a lot of time doing that. So, you know, if you want to learn how to get Red Wings, you can't really learn that from somebody that doesn't have Red Wings. So if you want to be really good as a, a 1 billion player, then you have to really get advice from somebody that's a 1 billion player. I don't really know how you gauge, you know, someone's, you know, expertise in, in this game other than just, you know, accomplishments. I mean, what would you label that as? Would it be, you know, wonder one through three or is it all stars or, you know, is it conquering thrones or, you know, respect from their server. Um, curious what you guys believe is a good player. You know, drop a comment below. Let me know what you think. Um, you know, somebody that you, you know, respect or somebody that you, you know, that you want to follow, you know, what are the, re- what are your requirements to have that? Cause I, it's, I think I'm curious to know. Um, but I, I do try to be conscious about the advice that I put out because, you know, what I tell in this channel for one player may be something totally different for somebody else because of what, you know, the advice that they got and what they built at that time, you know, kind of like the, the defense uh, wall general that I put out, you know, we're talking about Leonidas, but if you don't have any ground troops and you're ground heavy, then you don't need to be doing Leonidas. Right. Um, or if you got a, you know, a crap ton of, of calves, then, you know, are you ghosting those? What's your first line of defense? Or even more importantly, if you don't understand what I'm talking about, then that's something that you need to learn too. <laughs> um, but it all comes down to really just taking the time to educate yourself. And i um, glad that you guys are getting tremendous value. Um, definitely having a lot of fun on, on these coaching calls um, with some of our player base. Um, as I said before, if you're got big, if you want to really succeed in this game, you know, Red Wings, all-star push, you're spending a decent amount of money and you want to make sure that you're doing it right. Reach out to me in game. I got you covered. Um, I am going to put some content out on uh, the best way to obtain Red Wings because I have gotten some questions about that. It's low on the priority because the best time to do that is going to be um, the next ultimate BOC season, which if I had to guess is going to be in November, just based off last year and the the all-star rotation, the six month break in between. Um, But if it's something that you want to start really getting a a head start on and it's like the number one thing that you want to do, I mean, those red wings are sexy. The the Ned Hogg, I mean, he's just, you know, I love, that's my favorite decor, uh, hands down in the game. But uh, if you guys are really wanting to make a push for that, um, reach out to me in, in game and we can talk about it. Um, but outside of that, uh, some content coming out. Uh, more likely than by the time the next five bill consuming event comes around, um, I'm going to save up some Viking chests so I can just give you guys a clearer picture. And the one piece of advice that I want to give is this game is designed to get you to act on impulse. I mean, that's, that is the nature of this game. You know, like when I started, you know, I saw a Facebook ad. Oh, look at these puzzles. I think a lot of you guys would relate. If a puzzle got you here, let me know. 
<laughs> like, what is this war game? What, I don't know what this is, right? <laughs> um, this game is completely designed around impulse. It's all about like, you know, like dopamine hits in your brain of like a feel good sensation of accomplishment. Um, so I know a lot of you guys are kind of just enjoying the game. You're farming, collecting resources, you're buying some packs, you're using gems. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. Um, but when I go over how to build material, it's really kind of breaking away from that impulse. And I'll talk about that on the next video. And it all comes down to the same thing of strategizing, having a solid game plan, like, okay, this is where I'm at right now. Getting really clear on where you want to be next, setting those benchmarks, knowing what it entails to get there, what it's going to take to accomplish that, whether it be in time, whether it's in, you know, coining, um, the alliance that you're in, you know, how you participate in certain events, whether it's Battlefield or SVS, um, but getting really clear on that, like me, like I have my next 800 mil power mapped out. Like I know exactly the troops I'm going to build. I know what it's going to cost me. And I have a, a, like a time frame that I have to accomplish that. And I play accordingly. So something just to kind of a seed I want to plant in this video is really start looking at the bigger picture because, you know, for those that are coining, I mean, yeah, you want now, 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 right. You want to, you know, build as fast as you can. You want to, you know, accomplish everything. But this is the type of investment in this game with time and money. It is a long-term, you know, investment. I don't think anybody that's coining or playing is like, yeah, I'm going to, you know, spend all this and do all this and devote all this time on the weekends, the SVS and schedule battlefields and et cetera. But I'm just going to play it for a few months and that's it. I mean, I think a lot of this, of our player base, you know, you're in this for, you know, the long term. And, you know, situa situational awareness, knowing where you're at right now, where you want to be all crucial things. Um, if these are things that you're not clear on, uh, reach out to me in game. I'll be more than happy to, to assist. But uh, keep a lookout for the content uh, coming up, uh, how to really pump out Akamenide sets, how to prioritize them. Um, the W3, uh, how to unlock uh, Red Wings or the best strategy approach, timing, all that. Well, I'll do a deep dive in and how to accomplish that. Uh, and let me know in the comments below, you know, what else that you guys want me to touch on when it comes to content and I'll be more than happy to accommodate, but I uh, hope you guys are having a, a really good, uh, you know, towards the end of your week and I will see you guys on the next video.